Smart Sound. Smart Sound. Smart Sound. Got him off now. Shokaku, I think, has got nothing left. Our point situation is not that good either. No. All right, set him on fire. But then he hit the repair party right away. All right. Now he's on fire. Can't do anything. Save himself now. He's simply in trouble now. Sadals will also do some work. If we manage to get some Sadals on him, it should do the work. There, but not today. Enemy aircraft carrier destroyed. We thought it was a loss, but not today. <laughs> wow, we can Wow, we were we were panicking too. Oh man, but enemy carrier destroyed. What's up, people? Name's Andrew Kenny today. You know what's happening, right? That is the last heavy cruiser in the world, USS Salem. The last of its kind. And we're gonna go check out this entire vessel. It's gonna be insane, guys. So, <laughs> good guys. Ever wondered what's inside a Des Moines class cruiser? Well, guys, let's go and find out because. <laughs> the monster! That's the largest of its kind. That's it. From end to end, Des Moines there class is. ships World were 717 cruiser. feet long and were 67 right, feet at their, right wi there. Wide, at their widest point. Yes. 76 feet wide. Three at ships point. of this class were 717 feet long. Des Moines, Salem, and, and Newport World's largest News. heavy cruiser. So, Newport News and Des Moines were not very lucky as they were not yeah, lucky enough turns. to be saved. Salem was lucky enough to be saved. These turp. Salem's main battery consisted of nine eight-inch automated guns in three turrets. The turrets ar had an armor thickness of two to eight inches. These cruisers were the only cruisers in the world with automated eight-inch guns. With these automated eight-inch guns, they could fire up to ten rounds a minute per barrel, meaning that they could fire up to 90 shots per minute. The armor belt was four to six inches thick. The secondary battery consisted of six twin turrets with a caliber of five inches each barrel of these guns could fire 12 rounds a minute per barrel they also cons they also consisted of 12 dual mount wall mountings for their AA which had a caliber of three inches 
Just, and were pretty deadly together with their secondary battery. These rounds, th these blue rounds that you see on the ground are the rounds th that would be used for the five inch shells. These would probably weigh, I don't know how much they weigh, probably a few couple pounds, but these eight inch shells, but, oh, you see these eight inch shells? These eight inch shells right. would weigh up That's to 15, the rounds themselves the monster, would weigh surely. up to 1500 pounds themselves. And now here we go, the tour begins. So yeah, it is pretty dark inside, inside the ship. And you can clearly see some rooms inside the Got vessel. And, and yep. there's the sleeper room. And sure lucky enough, we were lucky enough quarters. to have a tour guide. Or we were first. lucky enough to have two tour guides in which they swept out. Well, another one, one of them being named Bill, and the other one, I kind of yeah. forgot his name, but yeah. but they were kind enough to have to give us a tour on board this vessel. Because so because I've been waiting for this for so long. But anyway, you guys are kind of bored with me talking in my narration, so let's just get on it. It has a lot of beds. Oh, I do not think that was comfortable. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Good gosh, they would have to have padding down here if they wanted to sleep on this monster. Well, I just left his clothes here, so yeah, let's just go and move on. Okay, do, uh... Yes. Oh. What up? Wow. This doesn't even feel like metal. Oh yeah, this guy was also whistling around a lot, so it's, yeah, 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 it's his thing. The crew has served eight miles in the past. Uh, there's some South Dakotas. That's a big guy. Oh, they got the Arizona too. There's a Missouri. Yep. Oh, look. oh, there's a Cleveland too. One of D-Mine's predecessors. <laughs> they were kind enough to put the pretty sister of D-Mine. the ship. There's surely not much windows inside by in here because like we're behind these six inch thick armor built that would surely protect this thing in battle. Good gosh. Can't see much out there. I I can't even fit my hand through there. I don't know how I'm even gonna try it anyway. Because <laughs> like that metal is just 70 years old. Oh, yeah. He's a lot of press. Yep. That's really a lot of You can see some previous American cruisers that were built uh, before tomorrow. Wait, on yeah. the other side contains the oh. other cruisers and then uh, cruisers after you know, the ship. And you right can really see the Atlantic class ship. So we'll start off off with the weaker and work our way up. So can you Omaha can see the here. Omaha class ship. Yeah, Ten of these were constructed. However, they were lightly armored and they were not. They didn't have very strong guns. Yeah, none of them and are alive with us today. They were constructed they in the 1920s and were modernized in the 1930s. They were eventually the, the, scrapped shortly after the war. And then there's Pensacola and its the Pensacola class, Salt which was City. America's first heavy and cruisers, they got, which and then, they served well, but were scuttled after the war. And, and then the they evolved to the Northampton and class. Of its class. And then, as, and then to the Portland class, class which, as, and which had the, the famous Orleans Indianapolis. Class. Then they evolved to the New Orleans class, which began the new generation. Yeah. And then there's the Wichita. And then we evolved to the Wichita, which had some new turrets. Yeah, which was just single. And right, so we're still with heavy cruisers. And, and then we, and moved, we came to the Brooklyn And then we class. put out the light cru cruisers, Brooklyn, which were light cruiser and versions of the New Orleans class. Then, then we and then we had the, the AA class. cruisers, the and Atlantas. Though lightly armored, and we and their class. guns were puny, they could uh, we can, they were dangerous we having Cleveland's for the shore. Together with the Clevelands, which were the and most then, heavily armored light cruisers in As the world and going. good gosh a huge amount of these were built and only one and survives then, today. Here come the Baltimores. And then and, and then the, the Baltimore class ships cruiser. came and 
same thing. And, and it was our Tier 9 in World of Warships. Class, then they the evolved the Oregon, Oregon City class ships, which were the, were the last Archester before Des Moines. And, and then... Uh, then, the Alaska class, not long, which were considered yeah, we can also see the Alaska class, Des Moines and then class. Des Moines or class. The Des Moines. Des Moines, yes. and Salem, the Salem, which we're on, um, and the, Newport and the news, famous the Newport system. News. And so, they were the most advanced cruisers in the world at the time. Then, two. another AA cruiser, and then, first guided missile America's cruiser first there. guided missile cruiser, the Boston Whoa. class. And there's the Little and Rock, the last There's the Little Rock, which Cleveland you can see, which is ship. the only surviving then, Cleveland class ship. And, and the Albany class. As guided then, missile cruisers were the Long evolving, Beach. they took over the sea. And you can see and there's the, also the Long Beach, America's first nuclear powered cruiser. And, and then, then as cruisers began nuclear oh powered, they literally were taking over the seas. Sure and by Nansen, too. Easy. And by night. That was the first to be the airport. That was the first American cruiser to be launched. Taking it to Salem out of service or decommissioning it in 19. 59, going, then decommissioning Des Moines three now years Portland, later, Virginia and then Cox eventually decommissioning Newport and News in 1975, the I mean, I mean, therefore ending the age of heavy cruisers. Yep. And still, heavy cruiser age though missiles may, over, may be more powerful than what Des Moines-class ships use, but they, too they still, still remember Des Moines. But still, a lot. they keep right. the history of cruisers alive. All right, here we go. <laughs> I didn't know that either. Isn't that funny? Okay, you want to go to the engine room? Let's sing it out. Okay, we'll wait till everybody shows up and comes, and then we'll all get out. Here we go. Into the engine room. We can charge extra for that. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Ah. We're going down. All right. Going down. Whoa, the engine room. Oh, gosh. Anybody ever seen the movie The Finest Hours? Yes. All right, so, whoa. Was it okay, so we're in the engine room, and you can whoa. see yeah, the turbines. And you can actually see inside the turbines, which were powered by steam. When these turbines were activated by the steam, they would turn the propeller shaft that would propel the ship forward. And you were also hearing bring up the last sunset. Salem was actually played played the Admiral Gulf Speed in a movie, Battle of River Plate, in which it didn't fire it. And you can see the specifications there. And now... We're starting to move around the ship's engine room, and you can see another turbine here. These turbines, together with the other machines, were, at the time, the most advanced machines in the world to ever be used on a ship. And then you can see some, some diesel generators on board. Good gosh, that's our job. Anyway, back to, back to real life. It was called stop instead of close. This thing's more than 70 years old. Wow. This is what turns the propeller. This is the shaft. Number yep. one shaft. Yep. There's the shaft right there. That's the baby. Yep. We take a little reverse, forward, whatever you want to do. Yep. Yep, so right out there. That's one of the propellers. 
right out there and listen. Whoa. We're We're on the port side of the ship, and that's one of the propellers. But it keeps coming, because this thing is 76 feet wide. I sure bet this, that this machinery was quite complicated. Oh, there's another propeller, Captain. I... Looks like, okay, there's number four on it, because this thing does have, does have four propellers. Shaft, so that's, so it looks like that's the one to the farthest to the starboard side of the ship. Uh, Shaft number two. Right there. Alright, so there's two propeller shafts on each side of the ship, giving this thing four propellers in total. And this managed to get the ship to a speed of 33 knots, which is 38 miles per hour. Okay, right outside. The propeller's right outside. Gosh. That's the thing with the spinning of that ship was moving. This steam here is sort of pressurizing the petrol we have from the Yep. Whoa. Oh gosh. Here's the yeah. So we got three of the propeller shafts. Yeah, I could only find three of the four propeller shafts in here, but still, though, this thing's a monster. Talk, you can hear it. Step in there and talk. Whoa. You can hear your, you know, an acoustic. Yeah. You hear it? It's almost like you're in a telephone booth. That's yeah. the noise around you. You can talk to the bridge from there. Yeah. It's a soundproof booth. Yeah. You had to be able to be yourself. <laughs> yep. It'd be pretty noisy in the engine room, like even more noisier than like a oh, diesel locomotive. Very loud down there. Yeah, like even louder than like a diesel locomotive. That's right. What what was your you said that this was good job, but and what, what as you're hearing now, that was a machine. Our tour guide was a machinist mate back in the Vietnam War on and he served on board a destroyer during the Vietnam War, which would be like half the width of Salem. You know? Very, very small. Yeah. I know, as far as I, yeah, I, like, it was I remember, remember he, the ship that like he served on as a machinist mate was eventually scrapped. Okay, follow me after, after the war, eventually, yeah. like when he yeah. got old. What are we doing? He's right. Whoa. It's going up now, sir. Anyway. Whoa. Anyway. Back to real. Ah. Watch your head right here. Yep. Yep. Truly, what a bad thing. Good gosh. No wonder they put that there. Yeah, At action right, stations, the crew would certainly want to be moving yeah. down there really quick and That's moving up too, like skull. if there was a leak in the engine room. And like, you know, if you know if an enemy got lucky enough to pierce through and get an underwater penetration or whatsoever. Anyway, back to real life. <laughs> Good guys, no one would take them so long. Wait here for me, I just want to check something. There's some images of the room here. Mm -hmm. This here is the tailor shop. You want to drop off your uniform or get some patch sewed on or something like that? These were all steam irons. And get the pants pressed, the uniform pressed.
the ship's blueprints. Newport News right there. Still down there. Way, folks, and I'll show you some more archives and things. I gotta. It looks like over here, this is. It looks like that this is a barbette to one of the five inch twin turrets, which is right above us. Whoa. These were surely one quite big barbette. But the barbette. But the. But the bar. But each barbette for a main battery turret weighed over 600 <laughs> times, which is equivalent like. Wait, to a fully loaded Union Pacific big boy steam locomotive. Oh, that's anyway, a lot of guns there. back to here, and... Whoa, there's a can... Whoa, there's some army that's weapons a lot of guns on board the ship. the ship. Didn't think we'd find this, but... Here's all your weapon this one's still here, cool to look at. Because my dad was in the military. Anyway. I have no idea what that says. <laughs> Good gosh, person is so weird. This thing's made of wood and... Good gosh. This is what... This is like the size of Salem's armor piercing round. So we one right there. Alright, we're going to the bridge. We have dead. Yeah, he's behind us. Oh, and that's where we entered earlier, I think. Drop a letter off to your um, folks at home. When you wrote a letter, you would drop it off here, or they, you could drop it in the mailbox, and then they would pick it up. And this is the, this is the post office. Wanted to show you this stuff before we went up. Another gun turret for one of the uh, five inch. Whoa! You can go in there if you'd like. Ah. Whoa! I'm guessing that this there's no loading This counter. is for the. Or at number six, which I'll yeah, so show right it. above us. Oh, right here. A five inch turret. You can clearly see the arrows pointing. That's the turret that I mean. It's probably that turret, right? It's probably that small little turret, like on the tip, on the stern of the ship in the dead center. And that's where the arrows are pointing at, and that's what I mean. Anyway, back to the turret. Whoa. Caliber five inches. Whoa. There's the casing there. It really took a lot of effort to get them up into the five inch turrets that are straight above us. Let's go into the bridge. Oh, I know what I can show you. Just a real quick peek at Whoa. This is our machine shop. And this was for ghost ship harbors. When the ghost people come and put a spooky ship, this is the guy in the electric chair and it works by ear. And the supposed guy is supposed to be getting electrocuted and he shakes. And that's him. And he's in pain. Yep. <laughs> Take a picture. Everything was built. Everything was yeah, I just decided to slap him. Okay, yes, I could have just punched uh, him, but that's... <laughs> okay, yes, because like... Yeah, because like that's kind of like what men may do, but... Still, I slap like a man slaps. Alright, here we 
Rio. Whoa. Going up. Going up. That's uh, luck. That's the woodwork and shop. Whoa. There's another deck out here. Whoa. There's a five inch turret. right up there. Just so like, wow. dude, there's a dual, dual five inch turret. And right there's there. also the bridge right up there. Whoa. And wow. here is where the parts is what we're <laughs> very interested in. Whoa. This Strange is inside turret, turret two. Going to be very interesting. We, we can go inside because Whoa. you gotta see Des Moines class wow. auto loaders, right? <laughs> I know I'm kind of being British today. The okay, so, so we you, we can see like the controls of like how they oh. control the direction oh, of the, the turret. And you can also see an image of Newport News firing its guns, but okay, do not enter. Okay, like there's also Whoa. some glass too. Like there's the gun like, loading. So way, like, can you step right there? It's hard, kind of hard to see the loading tray and like the barrels too in the gun. Yeah. I mean, in the turret. Okay. <laughs> They're all right there. That one. Okay, uh, load the gun. What are we else do we? Fully automatic. Yep. Okay. Fully automatic. Nope. I just saw one of these barrels. Shells a barrels. So, inch guns. Each barrel is fired ten rounds a minute. What makes Des Moines this, more powerful? Des Moines. On a heavy cruiser. On a normal heavy cruiser, the guns took about, about about ten to fifteen this seconds to, to load the, up. The, but uh, however, on Des Moines, it was not normal. The auto loaders are what caused are what ca caused yeah. the gun reload time to be minute. just That's six really seconds. Not anyway, for a heavy cruiser. sorry but for the interruption. It's normal for Des Moines. Oh. At one time. This is what, co this camp panel is what controls the turret. It is deactivated, so the turret isn't going to rotate. All those things, turrets probably might have rotated. The guns never fired before, and like, the wall, and like the ceiling, its thickness is around 6.5 inches. The backs of the turrets were two inches thick. So like, while the front of the turrets, well, well the front, well the face plates of the turrets were eight inches thick. So like, on American heavy cruisers, but like, so like on American cruisers, the turrets were armored just like tanks. Cause like on a tank, the hardest spot is the front of the armor, while the back armor is the weakest part of the armor. So pretty much. They were armored, so pretty much U.S. Navy cruiser turrets were armored just the exact same way tanks are armored. Five inch guns. Armored. Armored. I probably would not say that for like the old five inch turrets, but main battery? Whoa. Totally, yes. Three inch. Nav one big gun. This three inch now, right? Here. That used to be the caliber of three inches. There were twelve of them on Des Moines and Newport on, News. Some of them Des Moines, there were off them. twelve of them. Salem had only Salem, one. There's only eleven. Initially, Salem was supposed to have 70 twelve 70 on them, but they mounted got only removed because there was a problem. Because there are two reasons for just for the gun on the tip of the stern from from coming off. One of, one reason is that it was constantly washed over the board by waves when the ship was moving, which made shooting uncomfortable, and it was eventually dismantled. The, the other reason is that the, the gun was torn up by a storm and washed over by a three inch so, which is why Salem had to yeah. 11 units. And you can see this is where the ammunition came out of. Anyway, let's keep on moving. Uh, I hope this isn't locked. Oh, 
Whoa. Yeah. We're on the bridge. Here we are. This is the bridge. Whoa. This is the captain's chair. Whoa, gosh, that's a long way down there. Oh, yeah. This is the captain's chair. And then you get your admiral's chair. Wow. There's the view outside. The view itself from here looks pretty poor because we're on the Ooh, lower good level. Good The view is we're just on poor level from one here. of the captain's like, I can see that But there's a higher level up, which can give a better view. Because like, if you clearly see the dual five-inch turret is blocking the way, and it's really hard to see the out there. Poor. Here, because there, especially for the captain, you know, but there would be extra crew like on the other. Wow, there's the crane like, there. On the other floor. And you can also see. Oh, that gun right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Out. We can also see turn three. Yeah. Good gosh. The view, though, it's pretty really hard to see from oh. this view. But we'll so see I was saying something about the does improve. Gun B. Anyway. Gun on the the ship. It's, okay. yeah. Back to you see that like empty hatch right there on the tip of the ship? That gun came off because um, it was either washed aboard by waves or dismantled when the ship was moving due to being. Well, dude, I'm being washed over when the ship was, was moving to make you uncomfortable. All right, it's just right there. Here's the here's the white car we rented down there. I uh, really don't want to show its license plate, but you can barely even see it. It's got a Florida plate on it. Yeah, that's the best car my dad could but rent. Wow. Well, there's four ladders. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right. We're getting even higher. Oh, gosh, this is slippery because of that yeah, this rain. Be very Good gosh. Wow. There's the funnel right there. Here's the ship's funnel. Des Moines funnel was by far well, the largest the funnel ever used on an American heavy cruiser. I mean, Des Moines class funnels. <laughs> oh. We're getting higher on the island today. <laughs> Hey, this is not Des Moines. This is Salem. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's a freight yard right there. Right, well, there's a freight yard totally like, right over there. Like, from the see all these tankers? The and there's some tankers here. Dang. All right. Here we go. Whoa. Wow. Oh, wow. In there. All right, so. There it is. Wow, look at that view. All right, this is a much better view from here. Speaking to us now, huh? Okay. Just now, yeah, look at that. Look at that view. And eventually I'm gonna be right over on the tip and take a selfie there. Hopefully it'll be my new Facebook profile picture. There's the five inch gun, all right. All right, we're heading on to the bow of the ship. All right, look at that. We were just up there. Look at that. I would estimate that, like, wow, like from the deck that we're on to Whoa. like where we were, Gosh, that is to like huge. where I got the bridge view Whoa. earlier, it would All probably be about 40 Whoa. feet up there. There's turret right. one. And we can see the guns. You know. All right, it's, it's the turret. So. All right, we're just walking down. Good hey, gosh. Look right, at the you size also of that. see gun. Look at all that cover. The eight-inch turret right there. You know, earlier there. Gosh, that is. Monster. You know, earlier during the tour, my mom took a Whoa. picture of my grandma standing oh, some of the boards in front of the number one turret and put it on Facebook saying, my mama rocks. Whoa, we're <laughs> slumping up. Okay, but I wouldn't let you wow. Do you know my parents on Facebook anyway. Oh, there's the ship. You. Hey, there's the ship's anchor right. chains. Anyway. Which were certainly useful Back for the to the ship. Whoa. You know, you know, one of these guns right there, it used to be in here, but it either was washed overboard or during a storm, or it was it was washed overboard when the ship was moving, which made shooting uncomfortable and was eventually dismantled. Whoa. Man, there used to be a gun in there, but this was, good gosh. There's that monster. It's even bigger in my own eyes. Wow. All right, I want to go through there. I want to go through there. All right, three. Oh gosh, look how close we are. What? Wow. 
is the turret on we're on the stern of the ship and wow crazy right bro huh all right whoa what the what i did i, I have no idea what i hit so so the shells would come out somewhere so and then the dual five inch turret that we're in is go straight uh, into the to the starboard lower train and one voice is on the starboard side of the ship and it's on the star the starboard yeah. one stern man would, gun. One man would turn that the wheel, the guns would elevate, the other man would turn the wheel and the turret would turn. And there was also a platform here, and that hatch would open, and you had a man with the binoculars watching where the shells went. And then there was another two men in here. There'd be two guys in here. And they would set the fuses. And the shells came up through here. I believe they had a voice box that they could talk to uh, down in the handling room. Yeah, there was a voice box that might be gone, but there was a voice box. And you could come up through the hatch down below, through these hatches here, and another one there. Pressed up for an engine? Yeah. Yeah. Pressed up? Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly. Push the shells up. The man would take it out, would load it in here, another man would load it in here, another man had to shoot the projectile, then the other man had to take the empty shells, throw them up over there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. John, come on this We opened them up last week. Man, you can also see that slope right there. there so you can clearly see how they were. Do you explain to her? No. That's when they would come out. You load it into the barrel. Oh, well, then. Did you grab it? Yeah. Fire. Yeah. 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 Powder and powder hit hoist lift, so forth, so forth, so forth. The guys down below would work, push them up here. Yeah. Like I said, there's about 14 men in here. Pretty crowded and hot. Pretty yeah. Hot. No wonder it'd be hot. Yeah, very hot. Well, yeah. we get back there and everything was made. Yeah. We don't have the, didn't have the what you had today. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. uh, all right. So, guys. It's really so complicated in here. Alright. Alright. Come on out. So, that is a dual 5 inch turret. Right. Known as American Industry Standard for first warship secondaries. And. That's where we entered right there. Surely is one massive turret right there. And we're on the back of the ship. Or, aka the stern. We can see that bridge going up right there. Wow, crane that would be used to haul planes out of there and we can't go through there. Look, there are the other two anti-aircraft guns right there. Now, it, now, Salem is different from other Des Moines class cruisers, not only like with being the longest to survive and like being, and like having 11 three inch mounts, but like she was supposed to have of reconnaissance float planes on its stern, but it never had any. And so, oh, the crane on the on its stern is the only trace of the original plan. And and, and that looks like the helipad right there. There, yeah, but the ship never had any aircraft. But Des Moines and Newport News sure had some air in the aircraft. And good gosh, that sure is a giant right there. It's a big gun. Okay, sorry for that a little interruption. Oh, Gus. Uh, whoa. Well, certainly wouldn't, wouldn't want to go in there. <laughs> All right. Wow. Whoa. Don't fall off bounds there. There's a gun right there. All right. There's that. There's that big funnel. All right. Right. Wow. There's there's the ship's funnel. Surely we're not gonna end up there. <laughs> oh gosh, look at that. That's 
the hugest funnel I've seen in my life. Look at all that filtering, like right there. Wow, there's some pipes right by it. Oh, there's another mass. There's the bridge where, where we were earlier. All right. Uh, good guess. Keep getting called in my networks. <laughs> all right. There's turret number three. And all right. Wow. Whoa. Look at that. Oh. Oh uh, gosh, and these were automated. Oh, you can see the loading guns. tray right there. Yeah, Air, that's which one. Is the <laughs> left turret when we gun. walked off of the ship was in use. <laughs> and and over here is the right. Huh. Yeah, that's where they I go. I mean, the middle hand gun. I mean, the middle gun. All right, right. there's the, the right, right hand, hand gun. gun. The middle gun. Right there. And then and left hand gun. So. Oh whoa. And then. <gasps> whoa! And look at that round. Whoa. And there's the middle hand Good gun. Gosh, and there's the round, round probably two, weighs a thousand pounds. pounds. Oh gosh, there's that casing anyway, right behind it. Back to the video. And like these guns were automated, so oh, pretty much they get loaded up, and it took just six seconds to load the gun. So each barrel had a rate of fire of ten rounds a minute per barrel. Therefore, in total, just the ship could fire up to ninety shots per minute. And this is the main reason what makes Des Moines a tier ten ship in World of Warships, and the reason why. It's the most powerful heavy cruiser in the world. We just found him! One, two, three, four, five, six, and... There goes the round again. Just six seconds to load these guns. Enemy aircraft area You're very destroyed. deadly. We thought... Whoa. That's how they named the turret. It'd be cool, like, if the... If it moved. Whoa. Speechless now, huh? Never seen machinery this advanced before. Because this wasn't the most advanced cruiser of its time. Whoa. <laughs> Alright. There's the round. Oh my gosh, it's welded to the ground. Good gosh. The thing was thousand pounds. These eight inch shells are half the buddy. size of a Good six gosh, inch shell. I'd say they weigh up to fifteen hundred pounds. So 10, 15 seconds, which it did on quite heavy, but it was really not long until the guns were raised fire again. Just... Remember, six second yeah. reload time. That's wow. how long it took to load hey guys. the automated guns of Surely a nightmare. Ships. Oh. Well, there's another dual five inch turret right there. Ugh. Come on, there's the barbet, which we looked at earlier. Wow. Remember these guns were fired? The round would come straight out of that, and then it would fall into a net, but which, which you would see on Des Moines and Newport News, but Salem sure doesn't have that. The Des Moines probably still would have had that if it was preserved. <laughs> still though. Still though. But still, Des Moines class history, it's all preserved on USS Salem. Uh, Salem look at that never ever there. needed to fire its guns and once it's in, real, in reality before. That's true. Good gosh. It, it never fired its guns gosh, it's once. Huge. Because there was no need to do it, because, well, Salem served for only 10 oh, years and didn't serve the Vietnam be, War like you were used it. Alright. Alright, it didn't. We just got allowed to. And we got interrupted here. by a freight ship oh, coming boy. in. That's a, that's anyway, a big hook. back to the Salem. Whoa. Ow. Whoa. There's one of the guns on the tip of the ship. Yeah. Good gosh. There it is. Turn the guns on the ship, huh? <laughs> yeah, for a ride. Gosh. Gosh, like, this thing has sure got one pretty flat stern. Can't even see the nameplate from here, but like if we got at like over like right over there, we could see the ship's name. Hey, but what? The high Saturn can totally see the name. <laughs> he just totally got interrupted right there. <laughs> but, like, look how big, look how big these three inch guns would be. Manning them would be quite hard. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> uh, they just look like they're totally ready, especially that turret up front. Well, that was an impressive tour of the vessel, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you liked it, then you know what to do. Hit the like button, right? Right, and if you like what I do on the channel, then please subscribe because that really supports my channel. And I don't know if we'll see this vessel again, but 
We certainly will see my Demoyne again. And in honor. See ya! Well, guys, that trip was indeed sure fun. It's the best trip I ever had in my life and the greatest experience I've ever had in my life. I have been waiting for this to happen for 10 months, and well, 10 months later after I announced that, it's happened. That trip was sure fun. I enjoyed it a lot, and I'm sure am happy that I, I finally got to see the last surviving heavy cruiser in reality. The end, and it's so great too that knew that a Des Moines class ship is preserved, and that well, history like this comes to life in World of Warships, guys. That is what's inside a Des Moines class ship. Some basic stuff, even though I didn't see the e through the entire ship. Yep, though, because then again, I'm not so sure or if we did go through the entire ship, but. Hey, we got in the engine room, huh? Most advanced. Speechless now, huh? And hey, we went to the bridge, too. We saw all the controls of the bridge, too. But guys, that was so fun, guys. So guys, you know what to do if you like the video. You hit the like button. And please subscribe for more videos because that really helps me a lot. Because, as, as to be honest, this was, even though tiring to come back through, but, back from, but, hey, we got here today, guys. And now, now we can eat, do some nice and cool stuff, guys, and that, and I'm, and I feel great that now, hey, that now, I can remember this as a great memory of childhood. And who knows, we may have more trips in the future to, like, other stuff, but we don't know that for sure in the future, but, guys, it's about time we uh, head to bed, cause... <laughs> I'm so tired from all that driving. Anyway, guys. Guys, let's just head to bed. And in honor for Salem, look, and this, this epic adventure, guys. And in an honor for all, for all crew members, members that, for, of Des Moines class ships, See ya!
gosh, look at all that rust. No wonder this thing is old. This thing's more than 70 years old. 